Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. In this lesson, I am going to tell you what will happen if a multiple exception occurs at the same time in our microcontroller. In a previous lesson, as I had shown you that these are the seven these are the seven instruction uh, seven exception mode now the question is what will happen if these two exception the prefetch about or the irq occur simultaneously or any other two or more than two exception occur simultaneously so the processor may enter into the dilemma the which mode the processor should select and here is the procedure of the mode selection and the and the interrupt service routine execution right okay so this is what we are going to discuss in this lesson so the exception can occur at any time a, a exception can occur at uh, any time so this R microcontroller has to adopt some priority mechanism to prioritize the interrupt level so that the one interrupt can be serviced over the other over the other interrupt. Now let me first show you the exception and the related priority level with that exception. So the first exception, let's say here we have a reset and let's say another exception which we are having is data abort and then we have a fast interrupt that is the phi q and then we have a normal interrupt and then finally we have here the prefetch prefetch abort and then we have SWI and undefined instruction and then finally undefined instruction so let's say this is our exception okay and let's say here is the priority label so for reset the priority label is 1 okay so the lower number shows that the higher priority and for data abort it is 2 and for FIQ this is 3 and for interrupt this is 4 for prefetch abort this is 5 for SWI this is 6 and this is also 6 for undefined instruction okay so you might notice let's first discuss these two instructions here uh, these two exception mode you might remember that the SWI is a software interrupt okay and this SWI is written by programmer okay and this interrupt undefined instruction occur when at the execution level in pipeline processor found out that the instruction which the processor is going to execute is not defined in any set of arm state or arm instruction set right so the point which i am trying to make it here that the priority level of these two instructions are the same since the SWI and undefined instruction cannot occur simultaneously right you got the point the point is that the SWI is defined instruction okay so if undefined instruction if undefined instruction exception occurs then of course that will not be the SWI okay so why we are discussing it because if two interrupts are at the same priority then it creates a problem when both interrupts occur simultaneously but here it will not create any problem as 
SWI and undefined instructions would never occur simultaneously. As SWI and undefined instructions are orthogonal to each other. So if SWI occur, then there would not be any undefined instruction. If undefined instruction exception occurred, then it will not be the SWI. So this is all about for these two uh, these these two exception. And now we are going to discuss about other five exception. So the priority label one define that this is the highest priority, and in interrupt level in interrupt exception mode, the FIQ has a higher priority than the interrupt normal interrupt exception mode. Okay, right. So, for instance, let's say if reset exception occurs, that means the pro the the processor will reset everything, and if data about occur. it takes predecessors to all other exception okay that's mean if any of these exception with the priority level 3 to 6 occurs it will first serve the data abort and similarly if fiq occurs then in the case of the fiq so at the third number so if 3 4 5 and the 6 these four exception occur simultaneously then the processor will serve first three number of exception if every exception occur simultaneously then the processor will serve first exception uh, first priority level okay right so now the question is what happens if these exception occurs so in a previous lesson i had discussed that it jumps to a memory address that is known as vector table and which is defined for each exception okay and this exception memory uh, and this exception vector table resides into the ram memory and the address starts from the 0x00 okay and that is the address of a reset right and then it jumps to 0x00 and 04 and that 0x004 is a address of undefined instruction okay sorry undefined exception mode so this is for undefined exception mode now the question is let's say if undefined exception occur then the program counter comes to this address and that address is the 0x let's say the triple 04 but there is no instruction after this address as at the address 0x 0008 there is another uh, exception mode address is is there and that exception mode address is swi okay so in general what programmer do so the programmer in general links this okay so the programmer in general link this to some other memory location at the some other higher memory location let's say here and that is a simple jump you can say or a call instruction so what programmers do the programmer stores a jump or a call instruction at at each at these uh, these vector table address and once that service routine has served then the processor once again goes back to the 
normal execution so what we can say let's say the program counter is here and that is the normal execution and now the undefined exception occurs let's say this is the pc then the pc comes to this address okay so undefined exception occurs then pc comes to the undefined to get the function address which user want to serve for undefined exception then what happens then the user writes that the another function address that is the user written and then that pc goes to at that address okay so one thing you might have noticed here that when exception occur the address where the pc comes first time is fixed always that's mean this address is always fixed so if undefined exception occur the program counter will always come to this address but when user call undefined exception handler that is residing at some other location let's say here at the address of let's say 0x 3419 that can change at any time okay so it's depend on the user to give this address particular address otherwise assembler or compiler automatically will get a get a suitable address while compiling and the assembling the code okay now what happen when interrupt occur so the So, so the first few instructions of the handler, it is assumed that the no exception or interrupt will occur. Now, moreover, let me explain you in a little bit more detail. So, let's say here the undefined occur, so it goes to the new address. So, it's a kind of here you you have a program that says that the void and undefined. exception handler okay right. so let's say this is your function to handle undefined exception and that is known as undefined exception handler so what happens to the first few instruction to the first few instruction this handler assumes that there would not be any interrupt in these first two first few instruction set so the code should be designed in that way the interrupt should not occur if processor is serving a interrupt service routine i mean the interrupt should not occur if process interrupt should not occur for just few instruction first few instruction when the processor is serving a isr that is known as a interrupt service exception service routine you can say or exception handler okay you can say when here the eh i can say it or the handler when the processor is servicing this handler right okay great so we have discussed here the reset when reset occurs now when the data abort occur the data abort exception occurs when the memory controller or memory management unit indicate that an invalid memory address has been accessed okay that means let's say if there is maximum memory address is the 0x 39 ff and the processor is trying to access 0x4 000 then at this case there is no physical memory and this is the max limit so this goes out of bound at this stage the data abort exception will occur okay great and the fiq exception 
occurs when external peripheral device high it's it's uh, it sends a signal of a interrupt and and this interrupt a normal interrupt that's the normal interrupt occurs when once again the external peripheral gives a signal but there is very uh, little difference between f i q and the i r uh, f i q and the i r q i r q is a normal interrupt and f i q is a fast interrupt so it is up to embedded hardware designer to select which embedded device should raise f i q and which embedded device raise i r q i'll take these two interrupt exception mode in very detail okay in, in following tutorials so do not worry if you don't understand very much what i am trying to make a point here and the prefetch abort this the prefetch abort exception occurs when an attempt to fetch an instruction results in a memory fault so this exception is raised when the instruction is in execute stage of the pipeline as you might have remembered that we had discussed that the three stage and the five stage of the pipeline okay we had a pipelining stage such as the instruction fetch instruction decode instruction execute and then memory and then finally the write back okay so this prefetch abort occur prefetch abort occurs into a execution stage and the software interrupt that is the swi exception occurs when swi instructions are used or executed okay and this exception occurs right and this is the programmable so the so 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 the programmer can write this instruction itself in the program and the programmer can itself raise a exception so the sw swi exception or a software in, in software interrupt is widely used in operating system task management and then finally we have here the undefined instruction so the undefined instruction exception occurs when an instruction not in the arm or the thumb instruction set which we had already discussed in the very detail once we started our this lecture so this is all about in this lesson in which we had learned about exception priority label how the processor prioritize these exceptions and what is the meaning of each of these exceptions and how the program counter loads a exception service routine address the vector address like this and how this functions address can be different but this vector table address is always fixed so this is all about in this lesson please stay tuned and subscribe and like this video subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day